Hey guys, welcome to Circuit Digest. This video is the second part of the video Biometric Attendance System. So in this video, I'll show you how to program the ESP32 and set up the device. So once downloading the repository from GitHub, you'll be having a folder by the name of Biometric Attendance System. After you open this folder, there are folders by the name of config, data, SRC and a file by the name of Biometric Attendance System.ino. Once you open the file, it will open on Arduino IDE. You need to go to the board manager and select ESP32 dev module. So after selecting the ESP32 dev module as your board and uh, the communication port. So for me, it's comp six. I'll select OK. And after that, you need to go to tools again and set the partition scheme to no OTA. 2MB APP, 2MB SPI FFS. Without this, the ESP will not have enough storage to flash the code to. After making these changes, you simply have to upload the code. The code will be compiled and uploaded. So now the code is uploaded and we move on to the setup. To change the Wi-Fi SSID and password, you need to go to the config folder and open the file credits.h. After the file is opened, you can see the default Wi-Fi SSID and default Wi-Fi password. So you can write uh, your own SSID and password. So for me, I have written Semicon Media 2.4 and for password, uh, gibberish. So now that the ESP32 module is programmed, all you have to do is go to your web browser and type the IP address of your module. So for me, the IP address of my module is 192.168.1.57 and wait a second. So this is the screen that you will get. So for starters, you need to enroll someone. So I'll click enroll you can type the employee id so i'll give one as an example for name i'll give test for email id i'll give example at gmail.com or whatever domain you have and for position anything on what post the person is and you have to click enroll so after this, you will be asked to wait, uh, b uh, like complete the enrolling process before trying again. You click OK and place the finger on the fingerprint module. Once the image is taken, the second time it will ask you to remove the finger and place the finger back on the module. And the image will be taken again and verified. And on the screen, you'll be able to see that the employee is successfully registered. And also on the attendance sheet, once the person bunches the attendance in. So now that everything is done, this is the Excel sheet where the person's punch in and punch out will be coming. So now if I put my thumb on the fingerprint reader, it says fingerprint verified and already punched out try again tomorrow. So I just enrolled myself. So like the machine takes it as the person has already punched in now say that you have to change the settings of the machine according to your need and customize it you can simply go to the settings page and here on the settings page you have options to change the ssid and password of the machine you have option to rename the device you can change the google script id from here you can also change the login username and login password you can change the organization name you can set the IP address, the gateway, and also you can sh set the date and time accordingly. That's it guys. This is how you can set up your biometric attendance system. If you have any doubts, comment down below and stay tuned for more interesting projects.